Hi there and welcome to another short video in our series on behavioural economics. In this session we're going to focus on choice architecture. So what is choice architecture? Well choice architecture uh, refers to a scenario in which the environment in which someone must make a decision or a choice has been carefully designed to try to influence that decision. Now, there are lots of ways in which the environment can be designed. And uh, here's one in the Paris Metro. The architecture of the seat is explicitly designed to stop people lying across the seats and therefore try to reduce the incidence of overnight sleepers, people sleeping rough in tube stations. There's a good example of choice architecture. So choice architecture describes how the decisions we make are affected either by layout or sequencing or the range of choices. So, for example, in your local school or college, the choice architecture of the restaurant, uh, the way in which the food is both organised and sequenced, uh, can affect the choices that you make and whether or not you, for example, have a, have a healthier lunch, you have a salad rather than the burger. Increasingly, architects are using smart building designs, designed perhaps to, to get you to use the stairs more than taking the lift as, as the default option. Uh, crucially, choice architecture tends to be more effective when we can make it a, a simplicity of decision. In other words, people don't have to weigh up all the benefits and costs of a choice. They can make a, a choice change fairly easily. Uh, that would, could be, for example, altering the default option. Most people tend to stick with the default choice. So people need to, if you're producing, you need to think about which option people would most likely use. Uh, maybe changing the number of options available. Um, number of options, for example, in terms of food choices in a restaurant or simply changing the wording in, in order to manipulate our decisions. So choice architecture is really quite important. A, a good example recently is the auto enrolment for pensions, which is increasing take up of occupational pensions in the workplace in the UK. And here's a good example of choice architecture. In around half of the pedestrian crossings in this country, uh, if you press the button, and wait for the signal it just has no actual no effect at all on whether the on the timing at which the lights change from green to red to allow you to cross the road half of pedestrian crossings now have cameras fixed anywhere on the road they recognize when somebody stood there and they make an appropriate adjustment to the traffic but giving people a button to press uh, gives essentially people a sense of self-control and if they have pressed the button they're more likely to wait for the lights to change rather than take a take a gamble so choice architecture the environment in which people make a decision is a really key part of behavioral economics